All right, guys. So in order to develop this exercise, okay, this week four exercise, okay, we need basically to control back again our understanding how to develop basic structures and strokes at the same times, okay? So I'm using a compressed charcoal and also charcoal sticks there, okay? Uh, to work with this exercise, you guys can use also pencils to work on that. Okay, if you seem to have your pencil or color pencils to work with it directly, make sure you learn to develop the kind of movements, okay, when you draw them. Even though you hold your hands like this, okay, make sure you try to control basically your kind of hands, okay, to develop the, the structures there, right, okay? And also try to control your pressure kind of strokes when it comes to develop this kind of exercise because you're going to bring over to your understanding and your methods when you work with your tablets and your uh, Wacom tablets, okay, later on. Okay, now, about this exercise, right, we have this kind of reference that we have been given to you guys, okay, in our Google Classrooms. If I want to start with the circle or maybe basically the the horizontal kind of line there, okay, in, in between the tables or basically the platform there, okay. I'm going to start with this kind of lines over here. I draw a very straight line, okay, draw a very straight line over here. Okay, even though it's not that quite straight, right, okay, but practice your hands to draw like this one, there, okay. And then I'm going to start to draw basically the, the sphere there, okay. Check look how actually I move my hands there, okay. I controlling basically my kind of hands to draw that kind of sphere. Okay, don't press too much when you draw them. All right, and then you have the cylinders there, okay, which is the hexagon cylinders over here. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to start to draw basically the oval kind of shapes there first. Right, the oval kind of shapes there, okay. Hopefully you guys can see from there, right? Okay, and then I'm going to draw a straight line on the cylinders, right? And I draw another cylinders, or another kind of what we call that oval kind of shapes right here, there, right? And then I'm going to cut over basically these cylinders into a, a different kind of what we call that parts, there, right? Okay, according to those reference. And from here, I'm going to draw another straight line, horizontal kind of lines. And same goes to the right here, right? Okay. Same goes to this part. Okay, that's how it goes there. Okay. And when you get those kind of hexagons right there, okay, roughly, okay, then you start to draw. And now the basic structures on those boxes there, okay? On the cube itself there, right? Okay? Draw a straight line like this one, right? Two works on that. Yeah. Even though, right, I don't have any reference right here there, okay? I try to imagine back again uh, based on the reference that we have. Basically, it's all about the diagonal and also the horizontal kind of line and vertical kind of line there, okay? When we work on that. But roughly, okay? Try to work those roughly there, okay? How actually we're going to draw those cones? A lot of people just draw, simply draw this line there, okay? Start with the oval kind of shape for the platform there, right? Like this one. And then draw the vertical line on the center point. And then we're going to draw those cones over here there, right? Okay, you guys can see from here. All right. So right now, I'm trying to draw those cylinders right here. Okay, the cylinders right here. Okay, start with the horizontal kind of line, the uh, oval kind of shapes there, and then I'm going to start to draw those cylinders kind of shapes there. Okay. The line that formed the cylinder shapes there, right? And then we have those, basically those triangles there. There. 
okay it's based from this uh, basically a flat of those uh, squared up okay to work on that now if the light thing there okay we're talking about the light things right okay, the source of light okay what came from the left side there so the shadow are going to fall off right here so check back again right okay? the shadow can to fall off right okay this is basically the source of light okay and the shadows are going to fall off to the right side there right so in order to blend it up there right okay if you're going to use pencil there, okay? normally you're going to use a different kind of methods and techniques there, okay? to work on that but one of the most uh, easiest and also more kind of what we call that general kind of way to learn about the shading circuit okay? you guys can use the tip of those pencils here and to move around the okay, the shift there okay but make sure your uh, tip of those pencils okay are going to be a bit long enough than this one okay but if I'm going to use charcoal because based on the surface there, okay I'm going to use this kind of areas there this kind of surface over there and then I'm going to start to blend it up there right according to the shadows there, okay but Make sure you use those reference when you work on that. Look carefully to your reference there. Okay, don't just simply imagine them, okay? Otherwise, you won't be able to get it right for the first time there. Right, this is a part of it. Same goes to the side. The shadows gonna fall off right here there, okay? I'm going to draw those kind of uh, shadows, what we call that kind of uh, directions there. And then, I'm going to blend it up there, right? But not too much there, guys, okay? Blend it up carefully according to the volume and the tone there, right? Okay? This part basically, there's a few number kind of shadings there, okay? That blend over together those with the lighting itself, there, okay? Okay, this part basically, okay? Some people will blend it like this one, there, okay? But for me, I'm going to slowly move my hands uh, to use this kind of circling kind of shading kind of methods there, right? Okay, don't forget, okay, we don't actually erase our get our structures kind of lines here. Okay? Don't erase those structures kind of line there, right? Okay. Because leave those structures line, those constructive line, okay, in the process of presenting basically your works of here. Same goes to this part, right? Okay. Blend it carefully according to the lighting and shades there, right? And some goes to this part. Right? The, the core shadows are going to be a bit more darker there, right? Don't blend it too too much there, okay? And then these basically are going to be the right. Some of the parts right okay? and same goes to the side and to the side over here so then i'm going to blend it carefully according to the cast shadow and also the app exclude kind of shadows there okay that closer to the object there right okay Right here, basically, right, okay. This part, the shadow, is going to be a bit more darker, there, okay. But not too much, there, guys. Not too much here. So make sure, basically, you guys carefully control, basically, the shadows and light all over when you blend it up. All right? Don't you try to basically just uh, blend the whole things okay until you cannot get the reflections kind of light between the form of those kind of shapes there right okay so careful with it so most of people with secret okay, when they actually try to blend it right okay, they don't actually try to blend carefully there right? you guys just simply Shade it out, okay, without 
take care of the right one called okay, the volume of those shadows there okay that cover basically this area here okay just be careful to work on that okay and take time basically be careful and also please be patient okay when you while you basically you develop the kind of understanding right here and the most important thing that I want you guys to develop the okay, is basically the your kind of what we call that your kind of confidence there okay when you come to draw basically the whole structures over here okay develop your kind of confidence when you draw those lines but don't press too much okay when you basically draw those constructive lines there right there's a few kind of exercise that you guys can do it on your own when you want to develop basically this exercise over here Okay. If you can actually blend it up more detailed than what I've shown you guys right here, okay, as a reference, it will be more better there, right? So the shadows, as, as our reference, are going to be right here, there, right? I'm not actually trying to engage two details on the on the whole compositions, okay, but I just want to show you guys basically how it works when it comes to develop that kind of this exercise and also to practice your kind of Controlling your kind of uh, hands there, okay, when you develop this kind of structures there, right? And learn about how to blend up shape and shadings all together here, there, right? Okay? And don't press too much, okay, because the, the core shadows from this side a bit kind of blended over with the areas of those kind of what we call the exclusion and so reflections kind of light there right so every single form that you saw the working there has basically a reflection light over here right for example right okay, this side this is a core shadows right okay, but then blend up together with the, with the reflection light there over here because the light are going to be bounced over there okay bounced over to the to the object okay in every single object that we saw from this reference okay For some of you guys who actually want to blend also the backgrounds, go ahead there, okay? So those are the things that we want to see, okay? The most important thing about this exercise that you saw right here, okay? How actually we're going to develop our understanding to control the basic structures of every single form at the same time, okay? Because they're going to be a very important kind of understanding when you develop from here. And then when you want to draw any different kind of object, okay? Please remain basically the same kind of discipline. Okay, when you want to develop your kind of understanding later on to draw any single kind of object there, okay? Any single kind of object that you want to draw from, from starting there, okay? From right here there, okay? Please basically, okay, do the same discipline. Make, make yourself a very good kind of habits to develop this kind of discipline from now on there, right? Can you see, okay? I did not actually press too much when I actually want to develop this kind of drawings over here. All right? Just leave it very loose, basically, okay? And also control, basically, your hands to develop the whole structures at the same time there, okay? And blend it up together. Don't, don't blend too dark there, okay? Because you can't see, basically, those, those kind of blending, the volumes of your form that you create from here, okay? That's how it goes there, guys. Okay, so if you can actually blend 